All right, everybody, here we go again. So you can see here, uh, I actually have two different stacks of pennies here. I have a stack of pennies over here and a stack of pennies over here. And you can see each of these have exactly nine pennies in them. So this one is, you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And the other also has nine uh, pennies in them as well. Now, why nine? Because I only really had 18 pennies in my house at the time. Go figure. Anyway, so let's take a look at these two solids. So you can see this stack over here, this stack right here, and this stack over here. So given that the pennies are all identical to one another here, right? What can we say about their volumes? Now, Mr. Chung, you may say, wait a minute, aren't these, they're both nine, they both have stacks of nine pennies in them. So that means they should both be, uh, have exactly the same volume, right? Well, yeah, you're right. It should have the exact same volume, but there are some people who claim that they won't be. And part of that is because of this here. You can see that this over here, this stack is straight up and down like so, whereas this stack over here is a little bit, you know, off kilter. It's a little off center here. Note that even though this stack is shaped oddly here, it's still composed of nine pennies, nine of these slices all the way up. And since the pennies are identical to one another here, it makes sense that for each slice, going from the bottom up, slice one, slice two, slice three, all of them have the same area as you go up. So that all these volumes here, this volume should be the same because you're just adding equal things to equal things. Each of these slices has an equal area here, right? So if you look at like the, for instance, the fourth penny in the stack, because the pennies are identical, they should be exactly the same. Now note that this works even if this stack were to be shifted and changed into something else here. So it looks like this now, right? So let's say the stack now looks like this. We can see that in this situation, come on, focus here. We can see that this stack now, it's still nine pennies. It should still have the same volume here, even though it's a different shape now, okay? So what we have here, let me go ahead and uh, knock this away. Note that this works numerically as well, okay? We use pennies for this, but you can use any other specific thing here. So you can see that in something like this here, for instance, right? Uh, Imagine the pennies having very, you know, we're using pennies here. Pennies actually have a thickness because they're tangible objects here. Imagine that we don't, we use something that doesn't have a thickness here. So these planes here, these slices, all these have no thickness here. But you can see that if you imagine that these have the same area. So let me call this area A, this area A. As long as these areas are the same, we can see that even though these two objects here have different heights, uh, sorry, have uh, different shapes here, as long as the areas are the same, no matter where I slice it, it's going to be the same thing. The same is going to be true here, right? These triangles, if as long as they have the same area all the way up, it's the same idea here. And the same is going to be due down here as well. So what's covered here is something that's known as Cavalieri's principle here, and that's what I'm going to be focusing on in this sort of position here. Um, so as you can see here, according to the lecture notes, you can see two solids, can, uh, you can consider two solids included between two parallel planes like this here, right? The parallel planes ensure that the two solids are the same height. If every plane parallel to those two planes intersect both solids to form cross sections of equal area, then the solids have equal volume here. So notice how in this situation here, these two things have equal area. If I were to slice through the two solids like this here, right? This is basically saying no matter where I choose to slice, and I look at their cross sections here, if I slice at any given place, and the solid, the uh, the areas are always equal, then they're saying that the two uh, solids themselves, no matter what shape they are, will also have equal volume here. Because if you think about it, we're basically just adding a bunch of equal things on top of each other. You can think of volumes as just a stack of these circles. This is always each of these uh, tubes are just a stack of these circles here. So there's a bunch of uh, circles being added onto each other. By the way, this is going to be really helpful when you get to calculus. Your calculus teachers will thank you. Um, so this idea of adding these things together, you're going to see how this sort of thing works. So these objects will definitely have the same volume here. Okay, So this here is Cavalieri's principle.